What we have here are some BNC compression style coax connectors uh, that are designed for RG6 wire that we're going to put on a piece of RG6 coax. Now, uh, uh, an interesting thing about BNCs, and they've been around about forever, uh, probably since the 1930s, uh, and one big thing is that they have a little pin inside of the front of the connector that actually makes the connection to the mating half when we attach the two together. So it's very critical to make a good connection to the center pin and of course your center conductor has got to uh, mate inside that. And that's a big difference between that and the old F connectors which we use for you know, cable and satellite applications is that the F don't have this little pin. So how does the connector actually make the connection to the little pin? Well. If you looked in the back end of this barrel and all, looked all the way down inside of here, you see a small little opening, which is actually the bottom of the pin, which is in the front. Now, inside that little opening is a six pointed uh, spring clip that the center conductor slips inside of. And that clip is making connections all the way around the center conductor. So, if I actually took a little center conductor and inserted it into the back of the tool and inserted it all the way in there, I could feel it go in there. It's kind of a uh, definitely feel it's on there and you can see it's, it's definitely on uh, the cable. So that's how the, the uh, center conductor is making that connection to that pin in the front. So that's what we want to make sure happens. So we make a normal strip like we always do on, our, on these cables which is our basic two-step strip we've talked about. And I know that the center conductor has got to go up to about where the front of the knurl on that nut there is on the front of the fitting. So I know it's got to go in about that far. So I'm going to take my, my finger and just kind of set it here in the back and that my thumb. And I know the, the connector's got to be inserted that far. So now when I insert the connector over it, the inner barrel inside of here, when I insert this over this dielectric, this, this, uh, this foil, I might give it a little bit of a twist like this what, that will help ensure that it slips over that, uh, that dielectric in that foil. And I'm going to push it on until it hits my thumb. And I know I've inserted that connector all the way in, and you know the center conductor can only go so far inside the pin, so uh, you, you can only be pushed on so far. Now, we're going to, of course, use a compression tool to uh, compress this, and again, the tool, when I move the lever up and down, moves that ram in and out. And again, with the ideal product line, you'll see that there's little gr uh, gradients, little markings inside the tool there. And the large marking, when I move the ram all the way forward, it should be even with that largest marking you see inside here. And then I know that's ready for any of Ideal's uh, connectors. So I just take my connector, my center conductor is going to go right in the front of the little ram, and I snap it here with the clips. And then it's just a matter of compressing the tool all the way down, and that fully compressed the RG6 uh, compression connector. And that is a properly terminated uh, compression RG6 connector on a piece of RG6 coax.